What's up, beautiful people? It's me again, Corwin L. Gilliams from CLG Lifestyle. Hope you guys are feeling blessed. Hope you guys are grateful to be alive. Some people did not wake up this morning. We did, and that's enough reason for us to find even the smallest opportunity to be grateful. If you have not checked out uh, any of my videos, please do. Um, if you're following me on Facebook, just go to my Facebook profile and scroll up or down on my page and you'll see all my content. If you are on YouTube, obviously, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can access my youtube channel and you know subscribe of course like share also my website you can check out my website at uh, www.clglifestyle.com for those of you who don't know i am a, a content creator uh spiritual you know teacher rooted in the word of god uh, i blog uh, life coach photography designer business owner brand ambassador you name it right um i do I, i'm sharing this because i want you guys to know and i guess this is going to be the theme of the message or you know the overall essence of the message is that you don't have to take you know tailor your life to fit anyone's expectations you have the power to create the life that you want um, and so I've mentioned all these different roles because you can do everything that you put and set your mind to. You do not have to follow a traditional career path, a traditional profession, or a traditional, you know, do a traditional job. You can create the life, I believe, that you want by applying and using the skills that God has given you, the gifts that God has you, uh, given you, and using it in areas that, you know what I'm saying, that may be similar or complementary, but different. So for instance, let's say in the creative field, there's so many different industries within the creative field that a person can see themselves in and really do well, right? So for instance, you may be uh, someone who may be an artist, and so, you know, you may have uh, a gift to draw, right? And in your gift of drawing, right, you may create beautiful artwork, right? And I'm talking about, you know, not necessarily painting, but actually like sketching, right? And so, guess what? If you are able to draw, right, if you're able to look at an image or look at something and draw, that skill of drawing can be used in any other industry or any other area that requires technical drawing as a skill. It doesn't have to be necessarily in a traditional art form. It could be in the fashion industry. It can be even in the technology industry, right? A lot of people don't understand, you know, so many, there are so many sectors and so many areas, categories within certain industry, industries that you can really, if you do the research, right, that you can really find and discover a, a, a job or a, a career, right? While still, if you are a person who's entrepreneurial, if you are someone who, you know, desires to have and do your own thing, you don't want to work a nine to five for the rest of your life, that's fine. What I'm saying is, and the reason why I mentioned all those roles that I mentioned before in the video, which was intentional, right, is to let you know that you can do as much as you're able to do. You can stretch yourself to do whatever it is that you need to stretch yourself to do to become, right? One of the reasons I've been able to do this is because of my identity, right? Coming into the truthful perspective as to who I am, as to who God created me to be. In such revelation, I've realized that while this world and how we've been trained and taught, you know, they really try to dumb you down. They really try to make you feel that, you know what I'm saying, that, that, you know, they try to train you or should I say brainwash you or, uh, or uh, have your mind conformed to the ways of, to their ways of doing things, right? And so one of the things that the Spirit of God has revealed to me was just the supernatural aspect of our identity that we are truly made in the image and likeness of God. And in so, we're able to do things that the human nature or the human, the human being without God can do. Right. This is why one of the, the scriptures from a from a scriptural uh, frame of reference, uh, the word talks about I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Right. Or I have the mind of Christ because in this mind, in this ability, in this awareness, you tap into a realm, you tap into a, a dimension, you tap into an existence that, again, the average man or if you're someone who believe, you know, what I'm saying that you can do this life on your own, you know, then that's exactly what you're going to do. Right. As a man think it, so is he. So even in your even in, you know, as you're growing and as you're flourishing, as you're developing and becoming, um, you know, a person who, again, wants to uncover or, or discover your true self, your true identity, right? Not defined by the world, not defined by cultural and societal expectations, but defined by God as only you will find out when you pursue God. 
you you know god will begin to open and broaden your horizons he'll begin to expand your mind you begin to consider things and ideas and creative uh opportunities and things that you never considered before because your lens and your eye gates was not able to perceive this right because like i said before you know the we've been trained right myself included to consider just things that are just so limited things that are just limited to uh, another human being's ability and in god there is no there is no limit it's he is limitless and in our desires to pursue a limitless god we are going to receive limitless let me tell you something god you know from since i, I started my spiritual growth i've had so many different creative ideas you know what i'm saying that god was just pouring into me hey you want creative creative ideas you want something to, to you know to to to, to get you going to, to establish you here is an idea in this industry some of these ideas were in 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 industries that i've never worked in right but when god when the lord drops something in your spirit right when he gives you a revelation when he gives you a vision when he plants a seed in you okay that's it that's all you need and so what happens is a lot of the times many many people don't you know um cultivate that seed they don't cultivate you know that soil or, or, or that root that god has placed in you to develop into a, a tree right um the, the bible uses uh trees like the oak tree you know and, and palm, uh, i don't believe palms but palms is also another um let me show you this palm layout right here palm trees has also been something in this season that i've been well not in this season since you know about five years ago i've just been having this this affinity for palm trees right and maybe it was prophetic because even before i moved to the state um you know palms i, I remember i went and I, I went to um was it ikea or home depot no no it was lowe's i went to lowe's and i got a uh, um i got some palm trees some palm plants right to put in in in, in the apartment that i was living in right and so even before that so like i was saying that was probably prophetic because god you know was you know putting in my spirit i had already put in my spirit this 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 language or this desire to be around palms and and even in my my uh social media platform you see a lot of my pictures are of palm trees right and a palm is also symbolic and 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 meaningful in so many ways but uh that's probably probably for another video but anyways you know god gives you revelation he gives you seeds he gives you creativity he gives you seeds in the form of whatever it is that you're asking him for if you're looking for an opportunity to uh to increase in your finances in wealth and prosperity there's a seed for that there's a word for that and so for me you know i believe that we all have our seasons we all have our times where god you know what i'm saying is stripping us from the old things the things that is not conducive to living in his kingdom right um and begins to rebuild us right um I believe once you have begun to, and this is just my belief, right? Everyone have their philosophy, their ideologies, and their perspectives, and things like that. And this is why I'm unapologetic and uncompromising about, you know, what it is that I talk about on my platform, because I believe we have the freedom to choose. If what I'm saying doesn't resonate, if what I'm saying, you know, you don't believe, okay, go about your business. You know, you have some people that, you know, they want to argue with you about your beliefs. They want to argue with you to the point where they want to try to change your mind. It's not even a healthy conversation or or or. or a conversation where the person is you know curiously wanting to know or genuinely wanting to know why you believe what you believe some people just you know they're just so unhappy with themselves and they want to make you unhappy and so they want to have to uproot you and sometimes if not all the time it's the enemy working through these individuals right because it comes to what kill steal and destroy and so you have to be mindful of that you know if you believe what you believe there's nothing anyone can do to make you feel um you know to, to move you right and so if you if you get if, if your spirit starts to feel grieved or if you begin to feel like you know what this is just leave it alone you know walk away dismiss the conversation you can do that it doesn't matter you know it, it doesn't matter you know just do what you need to do to protect your sanity to preserve your peace that that was for somebody i don't know who but um yeah you know god has something for you to get you out of the situation that you need to get out of but what happens is it's your identity it's a revelation of your identity and i was reading this book on identity by dr bill winston um the, uh, i forgot the title of the name i'll share it later on um but the book basically you know talks about your identity as a child of god right your identity as a royal priesthood your identity as a born again believer someone who resides in the kingdom of god and uh, you know what the enemy because the enemy understands the power in our identity and the revelation of our identity meaning when we truly know and believe who god says we are because it's one thing to read it in the word and it's another thing it's another thing to believe it and become it 
And so the enemy, you know, one of the strategies of the enemy, right, is that he attacks your royal identity, right? And he does this in ways where you'll be surprised. You don't even realize that the enemy is attacking you. So one of the things that, you know, the enemy uses to create contention and strife and all these type of things in your life is, um, <clears throat> is, uh, like creating strife and, and, um, situations for you to respond in ways that does not uh, align with the character of a king or the character of royalty, right? And not saying that, you know, things don't happen where, you know, you, um, not saying things don't happen where, you know what I'm saying, where, you know, you're human and the human nature gets involved and you do what you do because you don't know any better. right uh sorry about that guys so yeah you um so yeah one of the things like i was saying that the enemy does is he um he attacks your identity in 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 ways effectively in ways because you are ignorant of your royal image or you're ignorant of just the, the spiritual principles that you are to abide by trust in and adhere to if you claim to be a child of god right so a lot of the things you know when it comes to strife confusion contention gossip slandering um lacking self-control living waywardly um living in fear doing things that you know um on in your actions may communicate one thing but your heart and the reasons why you're doing something uh c communicates another right these are the revelations that you need to get a clear understanding about and be able to distinguish in yourself and in your heart why is it that you're doing something why is it that you're responding to a situation the way that you're responding to the situation you know are you responding out of fear or are you responding out of courage are you responding out of righteousness or are you responding because you're trying to prove a point right and so all of these things you won't necessarily be able to discern if you don't have the spirit of god in you right and that's one of the again that's one of the ways that we're able to distinguish and after distinguishing being able to navigate and after navigating be able being able to make an absolute decision as to what's good and best for us right so i'm not going to keep this video too long um i'm going to round it up and so yeah everything that you need right everything that you need to get out of the situation that you're in you know it's a prayer away right it's a desire away it's a step away it's a faith move away it's a ask away but if you feel like you're unworthy if you feel like you know what i'm saying that that you know if if sin or condemnation and shame has enveloped you so much that you don't believe god you know is that you don't believe that you're worthy right to to be embraced by god or worthy to be heard by god and that's then that's exactly what's going to happen for you and so it takes time, right? It takes time to rebuild your nature. Think about the prodigal son. It takes time to rebuild your, your godly nature, your royal nature, right? It takes you having to really take time for yourself. Be alone. Get away from people. Get away from situations. And God will orchestrate situations for you, for you to have those opportunities to be in isolation, in a healthy way, in a spiritual way, in a God-ordained way, so that you can acquire all the things that you need to acquire to, you know, be solid in your identity, right? There's a, there's a, there's a, a, a requirement for you to have a solid foundation in certain aspects of your identity for you to receive right certain things if not all things that is good and well for your soul right if you're someone who you know what i'm saying who have no no revelation as to who you are you know what i'm saying foundationally and when i say foundationally i believe that there are things foundationally that you need to know about yourself in order for you to build a house or build your life on a solid foundation these things include right one who are you god's child right a child of god right why were you created in, um why were you created you know in, in this earth there may be de more details more intricate details as to god's purpose for your life but foundationally you were created to be a manifestation of god's love right in a way that he created for you to be um 
to, to be birthed right and so there are things that has happened in your life in our lives that made us feel that we were unworthy to make us feel that god did not love us to make us feel that god you know why would god create if god is love and and and, and god wants the best for me why would he have created these situations for me to go through right why was he not there to protect me from situations that you know i could have died from right but as again you grow in your revelation of god and the revelation of his love and his character and his nature you'll find and truly understand you know this world and and, and the fallen nature of the world and the things that sin has caused people to do and why people do the evil things that they do and become unapologetic and uncompromising about it you'll find that you know it really had nothing to do with the lord right god is someone who again his intention for us was to be in a, in a royal family for us to really experience beauty um royalty honor glory you know what i'm saying to rule in the earth to have dominion right made in his image and likeness to have dominion in the earth to rule right as co-laborers as co-workers as co-kings and heirs right but because of the fallen nature because of the uh the decisions of our ancestors right there was a consequence right the consequence for disobedience was what death and so in the restoration that we've been given through christ we're able to be restored back to our original identity as a royal priesthood but that also requires you know what i'm saying a decision to be obedient a decision to live a life that is worthy of the calling that god before the foundations of the world had called you to come into right and so in this revelation in this truth you're going to have the things that opposes god and god's plan coming against his plan for your life these things come as distractions they come as temptation they come as earthly pleasures that you and i know do not profit the soul one bit but only leads you into more destruction right these things these oppositions come in the form of relationships right even family members right we think about king david and and the betrayal and the treachery that he experienced in his own household right and this was uh introduced because of the sins that he did right um i believe it was the sin that he did with Bathsheba when he committed adultery right there was a curse placed on his house and the consequence of that curse was him having to have well first lose the child right he lost the child right but then the next generation with his son Absalom there was um just this division in his house was which was directly related to his disobedience right and so there are things that we have to go through in our lives um based on what our ancestors did based on what the, the people who came before us did but god is faithful you know um god says you know even though you went through this even though your ancestors did what they did i've made a way for you to be restored from the curse amen i've made a way from for you to be restored in your identity as my child and whom i created to have no sin or no inclination to want to sin right and so as we're being transformed by the renewing of our minds as we're being you know renewed transformed restored uh redefined revamped revitalized born again renewed by the spirit our lifestyle is going to change our mindset is going to change the way we think is going to change our desires is going to change we are going to become more aligned with god's will for our lives we're going to have more of a clear perspective as to the things god wants for us right but in order for us to get there there is a process right i always use this example you know you don't go from kindergarten to high school you don't go from high school to phd right okay there is a process in learning even on an earthly level and it's the same way in the spiritual kingdom not to say that god can't accelerate your progress or accelerate your your, your spiritual journey right he can do all things right he, there's nothing impossible for god but we want us we want to believe where our faith starts right we don't want to believe or ask for things where our faith does not match right so a lot of people be asking for mansions but it, it, you know it, they still live in in a, in a in a room ship as opposed to asking god let's say god let me get a studio first you know i'm believing for a studio i'm believing for a one bedroom apartment you know that's a step that 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 is a wise step to the bigger picture right so after you get your studio after you get your apartment after you get after you get whatever it is you know in the process then you know your faith increases you know dr bill winston talks about um you know start believing for a dollar on the street you know what i'm saying stop believing <laughs> you know stop believing for something that's just like you know and that's how you begin to um that's how you begin to build your faith and faith without works is dead faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen so as you are learning kingdom principles as you are being transformed by the renewing of your mind as you are living in obedience you know obeying the small things the small directives the small thing that is spirit is saying okay give that man you know you may have five dollars in your pocket right and the lord is saying he gave that man five dollars and you're like lord what 
this this five dollars you know i was supposed to do this or whatever and and give it to him right these little instructions these little opportunities that you are that are there to test you and to really see where your heart is do you trust god do you trust the lord with all your heart, heart mind body and soul these are the things that from my experience i can't speak for everybody but from my experience these are the things that has happened that i know you understand what i'm saying that i know that it was the lord you know again developing my character right having me you know being situations where it's like okay am i do you trust me and so we all have to go through it right we all have to go through the fire we all have to be tested we all have to be refined and it's not always pretty it's not always comfortable but in the end you overcome and in the end the fruits of your labor it shows okay so with that being said beautiful people i'm gonna leave it like that i'm gonna uh, may come, maybe come back on a little later on um, Maybe a little later on If I have something to say I'll come on and say it um, With that being said beautiful people Thank you so much for watching Check out my last publications You can do so like I said on Facebook You can go through my uh, Go down my um, My Facebook page You'll see all my videos uh, If you're on YouTube You can go to my YouTube page as well um, And get you know Like subscribe All that good stuff Alright with that being said, CLG Lifestyle Corwin L. Gilliams, it was a pleasure talking to you this day. I'll talk to you guys soon. Love y'all.